of this mass for the soul of James Albert Council. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So today is the Australia Day, a day when we remember and pray for this nation in a special way in this Holy Eucharist. So let's thank God for um, the gift of Australia. As every nation is a gift, Australia also is a gift from God. Let us appreciate this gift and surrender this gift to God Almighty that he may show mercy and compassion to this land and all those who live here. And he may work out the salvation of all in his eternal plan of mercy for this generation. Let us offer these prayers and intentions in this Mass and pray a little while. Let's acknowledge our sins and failures. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, the God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that as the cross shines in our southern skies, so may Christ bring light to our nation, to its peoples of old and new, and by saving grace transform our lives through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Once more there will be poured on us the spirit from above. Then shall the wilderness be fertile land, and fertile land become forest. In the wilderness, justice will come to live, and integrity in the fertile land. Integrity will bring peace. Justice give lasting security. My people will live in a peaceful home, in safe houses, in quiet dwellings. The word of the Lord. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. His help is near for those who fear him, and the, his glory will dwell in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. 
Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. There is a variety of gifts, but always the same spirit. There are all sorts of service to be done, but always to the same Lord, working in all sorts of different ways in different people. It is the same God who is working in all of them. The particular way in which the Spirit is given to each person is for a good purpose. One may have the gift of preaching with wisdom given him by the Spirit. Another may have the gift of preaching instruction given him by the same Spirit. And another the gift of faith given by the same Spirit Another again the gift of healing, through this one spirit. One, the power of miracles. Another, prophecy. Another, the gift of recognizing spirits. Another, the gift of tongues. And another, the ability to interpret them. All these are the work of one and the same spirit, who distributes different gifts to different people, just as he chooses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy the peacemakers. They shall be called children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to teach, speak to the crowds. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right, they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's gospel, the Lord spoke about the Beatitudes. He said about those blessings that will come upon his disciples because they possess these qualities within themselves. And these values that Jesus outlined are totally or maybe radically different from the values set by this world. And the same things that Jesus said, highlighted as blessings, may not be considered as blessings in today's time. People are striving for the opposite of it. 
Happy are the poor in spirit. And today nobody wants to be of anything like poor, whether it's in spirit or material things. Everyone wants the opposite. And happy are the gentle, they shall have the earth for their heritage. So even to consider that, if you are gentle, you will inherit the land. We have a conquering mentality always, that I have to use force everywhere, whether it's at work or business or anywhere, and I will, um, then only I can conquer or possess things or land. The Lord said, those who are gentle, the Lord will give them their inheritance in the earth. And happy are those who mourn, they shall be comforted to go through certain sufferings and pain in this world is considered to be a curse in many people's lives. But the Lord said, are you mourning that is meant to be comforted? So you have a comfort awaiting. And those who do not mourn do not know what it means to be comforted uh, by the Lord. So there are blessings that uh, our blessed Lord uh, outlined. And they shall be our principles of life. Happy the merciful, happy the pure in heart, so purity, compassion, mercy. These are the principles uh, with which Christ's disciples should operate in this world. These are the principles uh, we as disciples of Christ should esteem and appreciate in our lives. And we are not running the opposite way. We are not uh, possessing the values of the world as opposed to this Beatitudes. We shall never accept any value opposed to this Beatitudes. For, for us, this is what our Lord taught, and so we shall be happy with that, and we are proud of it, and we believe every word he taught us um, regarding this. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we come before you with the fruits of the earth, 
tended by our hands, O Lord. We pray that these offerings bring a blessing on our land and peace to all who dwell here through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name through Christ our Lord. For from ancient times you made this land a home for many people and became their rock of strength. When they were hungry, you gave them food, when thirsty, water, even in the desert. To all you, your providence has proclaimed the good news of Jesus Christ, your Son, sent by you to be the Savior of all the world, who has brought peace by his sacrifice on the cross. And so we lift up our voice to you this day, and with the people you have made your own, from every race and tongue, every place and time, we join in the song of the angels in heaven, as in exultant praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, James Albert, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May our partaking of this sacrificial meal, Lord, grant us strength to walk together in the ways of justice and behold one day the new heavens and the new earth. You prepare for us in Christ, your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessings. May God who formed our southern land be for you a rock of strength. Amen. May God who rules the great seas keep you safe in every storm. And may God who make the skies above turn your darkness into light. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let's go in the peace of Christ.
divine mercy chaplet you expired jesus but the source of life gush forth for souls and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world a fountain of life unfathomable divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us a blood and water which gush forth from the heart of jesus as a fount of mercy for us i trust in you O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us I trust in you O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us I trust in you Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ his only son our lord He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy, holy god, god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent. But with great confidence, submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Psalms 91. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, or the arrow that flies by day, or the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You'll only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, no scourge come near you at tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion of the serpent you will trample under food. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Sacrament most holy. 